Sports presents Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Benning Bites with Damon Benning. A little something to nibble on with Benning's Bites. Just, gosh, what's on? What's a topic? What's on my mind? What is on my mind? Nebraska fresh off a 26-9 home loss to Illinois. What's on my line? Well, how about head coaches? And in particular, Mickey Joseph. Just watching him work this week, kind of knowing what he's been about, how much he cares about Nebraska. Man, his he has put his heart and soul into this one. I mean, this is one of those reclamation projects that if you're Coach Joseph at your alma mater, you've kind of hunkered down and embraced. He and his wife, the family, they have been all in with the Lincoln Public School System and getting going in schools. And it just seems like a natural fit with uh, somebody coming back to their alma mater just as a chance to rebuild. But after the Illinois game, what's changed? Has anything changed? Well, this I'm not sure because this is opinion only. No real hardcore conversations with Miss Joseph or Mickey, but just watching them, you know, pregame uh, in the coach's office, just loving the university. And what would happen potentially – With all the speculation of, okay, if Nebraska goes in a different direction, what would Mickey Joseph do? And the the answer to that question, at least today, is I don't know. But I just think about the blood, sweat, and tears, not to go all super cliche. But what has he put into it? He's put in a ton. And I just kind of liken it to, man, if if there was – the, the the dream situation for somebody to date and you you put everything you have into it you've been in love with this girl and all of a sudden she tells you no would you settle for a lunch date or would you be all out because it's not what you wanted that's going to be interesting because again all the effort the energy the vibes that he's put in what would have to happen and i would keep an eye on a couple of things just to give you an inkling will there's because there's a couple of key factors. What happens in Auburn with that job now open? Who becomes the front runner? Is it Lane Kiffin? Could Ed Ogeron sneak in and get another job in the SEC with the great relationship that he has with Coach Joseph? What will the tug of war in terms of the options be for what's out there for Coach Joseph? Because he's obviously uh, upgraded his stock in terms of being highly coveted as an assistant coach, a strong assistant coach, one that has some head coaching uh, leadership qualities in him will make him a very attractive candidate. So how strong will the tug be if, in fact, Nebraska chooses to go in a different direction with the head coach? I don't know. We'll put love to the test because one thing I know is for sure, when it comes to providing maximum effort and belief, and instilling confidence in his team, Coach Joseph has scored an A-plus. When it comes to being embraced by the community and his family being very happy with the school systems and, and kind of how the community has taken them in, that's an A-plus too. But what will the tug be elsewhere if it doesn't come to fruition with a potential dream job right there in front of him for the taking, being named the head coach at his alma mater? A lot goes into it. I don't envy him. Going to be a lot to chew on, or should I say a lot to nibble on, as you've been a part of this morning's Benning's Bites. Back tomorrow with more. Don't you dare miss it.